What's up guys? Coming to you guys with another fight from UFC 278 early prelims. We got a potential exciting matchup in the bantamweight division. We got Arichi Lang, also known as the Mongolian Murderer, matching up against Jay Perrin. Arichi Lang is 22 and 9, Perrin 10 and 5 in their careers. Both fighters are listed at 5 foot 7 inches tall. Uh, Richie Lang with a 69 inch reach and Perrin with a 67 inch reach. Uh, Richie Lang fights out of an orthodox stance with Perrin fighting out of the southpaw stance. As far as the striking numbers go, uh, Richie Lang very active, uh, 6.65 significant strikes landed per minute and he is the kind of guy that is not afraid to go in and take a shot to try and give a shot. Uh, a crazy amount of damage absorbed as well. 7.77 significant strikes absorbed per minute, which is just a crazy number, and a 49% striking defense on that. So that just goes to show that he's defending half of the strikes thrown at him, and he's still uh, getting seven strikes absorbed on him per minute. So he's just in there just coming forward and just trying to exchange and throw, and just extremely aggressive. Perrin, on the other hand, uh, he is has about 3.5 significant strikes landed per minute and 41% uh, striking accuracy, uh, 3.7 significant strikes absorbed per minute as well. And uh, he is, uh, you know, okay defensively as well, 44% striking defense there. Uh, both of these guys are not afraid to mix in the wrestling, a reaching link 2.29 takedowns per 15 minutes compared to three for Jay Perrin. Uh, both guys pretty successful, and they do try and make take it to the mat. 62% for Richie Lang versus 60% for Jay Perrin. Uh, both guys have good takedown defense at about 55%, and neither guy really is looking to uh, get a submission when they take it to the ground, mainly looking for control time. Neither guys have any submission attempts in their UFC careers. When we look at the resumes... Arichi Lang coming off a loss to Cameron Ellis and, or sorry, win versus Cameron Ellis, a loss versus Cody Durden and Jeff Molina. Uh, that Cody Durden fight was more of just a wrestling clinic put on against him. Uh, Jay Perrin coming off a loss to Mario Bautista. Um, I think that uh, Richie Lang, where he really struggles, is against a guy that can just really just uh, implement the wrestling from. Uh, you know, round one and, uh, you know, right at the game of the fight and get him down and hold him down. And that uh, Durden fight, Richie Lang didn't really have an answer for the wrestling that uh, Dirty Durden was bringing to him. So as far as Jay Perrin's uh, most likely path to victory, I think that the wrestling is his most likely path. I think that if he's able to uh, establish the wrestling early and hold him down and tire him out, he could have some success there. I think if the fight stays on the feet, uh, you have to lean towards a reaching lane. He's the more active guy, and I think he has more pop in his shots as well. So, you know, it'll be interesting to see how it plays out. It's a tough one for me to call. I do think that this has potential to be fight of the night because a reaching lane's fights are generally just bangers. So it'll, it'll be fun to watch and see. Um, yeah, if I, if I had to... Lean, I think Arichi Lang has more uh, more options to win, but Jay Perrin definitely has a potential wrestling edge. So it'll be uh, be a fun fight, and I'm looking forward to it.